Hello and welcome to a VizRT video user's guide. My name is Joshua McVeigh, and today I'll be talking about VizArtist, and I'll be going over the section for the workbench description. After a successful login, the main window appears. At the top of the main window is the main menu bar. Below the main menu bar is the display area. The content of the display area changes according to selections made in the main menu. At System Startup, the area is divided into four panels. In the upper left here, we have the server panel. And from this area, I can go ahead and select one of my scenes. Just below the server area is the scene tree area. And from here, I can select one of my containers. To the right of that, we have our scene editor area. And this is where you can see your animation play out. And just above that, we have the properties area. And from the properties area, I can change the properties of whatever container and plugin I selected. From the server area, it is possible to control elements such as materials, images, and fonts. The elements in the Viz Graphic Hub database can be added to the scene tree, which is the logical visualization of the scene. The scene tree is built up of containers, which again can hold items such as materials or plugins. The containers are controlled from the properties area, where size, position, and other settings are modified if required. A visualization of the scene is shown in the scene editor. Next, we should consider the main menu itself. The buttons in the main menu make it possible to change the view of the display area. Server. Server shows the following panels. The server in the top left, the scene tree in the bottom left, the properties in the top right, and the output in the bottom right. From the server area, it is possible to control the database elements, such as scenes, materials, and images. The elements in the database, which is common for all users connected to the database, can be added to the scene. Server is the default view that appears at System Startup, and we'll go over this a little bit more in depth in a later video. Built-ins. Built-ins shows the following panels. The plugins in the top left, scene tree in the bottom left, properties in the top right, and output in the bottom right. From the plugins area, it is possible to control the built in plugins such as geometries, container plugins, shaders, scene plugins, and texture sources. The features vary according to which plugin packages that are licensed and installed on each machine. And again, we'll go over this section a little bit more in depth later. Control. From the control area, you'll see the controls in the top left, the scene tree in the bottom left, properties in the top right, and output in the bottom right. The control area shows control objects and control channels. While here, we can go ahead and type into this control field, and as you see, it shows up in our scene. Views. When you click Views, you'll see the views along the left side of your interface, properties in the top left, and output in the bottom right. The Views area shows three configurable views in addition to the one in the output area. The additional camera views make it possible to monitor the scene from up to four various angles simultaneously. And this will be covered more in depth a little bit later. Tree. Tree shows the following panels, the scene tree on the left, properties in the top right, and output in the bottom right. The tree view is similar to the server view, but without the database appearance. This option is practical when the scene tree is complex and holds many components. If the scene tree is still not big enough in the regular tree view, it's possible to click the zoom out button above the scene tree. This will shrink the size of all the containers so that even more containers fit in. 
stage. The stage shows the stage across the top, scene tree in the bottom left, and the output in the bottom right. From the stage, it is possible to control animations in the scene. The stage shows the timeline from the animation start on the left side to the stop on the right side. Server slash stage. Server slash stage shows the stage across the top. And we see the server down in the lower left and the output in the bottom right. Server slash stage is similar to the regular stage view, but here the scene tree has been replaced with the database content. Plus tree slash stage. With this, we see the stage across the top, the server in the lower left, in the middle we see the scene tree, and in the bottom right we can see the output area. The plus tree slash stage view is only available on machines with a screen resolution of 1600 by 1200 or higher and shows both the database content and the scene tree. Now on the right side of the main menu, we have Import. Click this to open the Import Panels. Use these panels to transfer archives and various files into the database. This will be the topic of a later section. Archive. Click to open Archive Panels. Use these panels to create an archive of multiple database elements into a single file, which is then located on the hard drive. And again, we'll cover this a little bit more in depth later. Config. Click to open the conf Viz configuration panel. You can use this panel to change system options and functionality. The content of the Viz configuration panel changes with different platform types. An installation on a machine that contains a video board will run the software in video mode, whereas a machine with no video board will run the software in standard PC mode. Post. Post opens the post rendering panel. And from this panel, it's possible to export image chains or scene clips. On Air. On Air opens the On Air panel. This panel switches the application from the modeling tool to a plain rendering engine. The application waits for control commands through its communication port, or it can be controlled manually from the control buttons when Viz is set in on-air mode. The documentation button will open the Viz Artist User's Guide. The message button opens the message window. This window shows server warnings and chat messages that can be sent or received to and from other users connected to the database. Show Commands opens the Viz Engine console window. This window shows the commands that are used for the communication between the user interface and the rendering Viz Engine. The console window is mainly used for debugging purposes. License Information. This opens the License Information window. The window shows the status of the current license, such as license expiration date, platform type, st like standard PC or video, license plugin packages, the Viz version number, etc. This is also where the license can be renewed. For details, we'll talk about that in another section. Finally, we have Minimize, and we have the Close button. When you click the Close button, it'll open up a menu for you, and you can choose what way you want to close Viz Artist, either by quitting or restarting in another mode. Thank you for joining me for a VizRT video user's guide.